All right, guys, it's blue. You're going to get to see how dirty my garage is before I get everything cleared out for the uh, spring clean here. Uh, but one of the projects I wanted to do this summer, or spring, I guess, is to build a water catchment system uh, to hook up to my gutters. So this it's not done by any means, but this is the basic uh, the basic layout of it. Um, I had a bunch of, it's not, not scrap lumber, but lumber that I had in my garage that I haven't used for years. So I figured, what the hell, let's use that. Uh, 255 gallon drums, so there's 110 gallons worth of water. Uh, the one problem that I see already, which is not a huge problem because I don't care really that much about looks, is the gap between the bottom plug of the top barrel and the top plug of the bottom barrel. I probably should have closed that gap up a little bit more, uh, but basically what I was looking for was to have enough room to do uh, like braces from the corner to the corner and then from the corner to the corner there. Uh, so that's why it looks a little goofy, but I wanted some uh, extra support. I'm going to do the same thing there on the bottom. I'm going to put some uh, the brackets or the braces from corner to uh, about the middle. And then I'm also going to get some uh, L brackets and put in each of the corners underneath where the uh, the buckets are going to be uh, sitting at. Just kind of give you stepped on a bottle there. Kind of give you a side view. It's nothing major. If I find that I need a little bit more support for it, I'll add uh, I'll add some more wood for the uh, the support back and forth. But I really don't think it's going to work out too bad. Uh, that's going to be the frame. I'm going to put it up like I said near the uh, downspouting, and then figure out a way to rig it up to drain into the top but I want one of the ones that uh, fall down and then once everything's filled up it closes it so that the water backs up and then goes back down my downspout I don't want uh, I don't want overflow I want it to be a, a clean system so uh, basically that's pretty much all I have left to do is to get the uh, two inch PVC stuff uh, to connect these and then down here is where the uh, spigot's gonna be and there's one other, what the hell else did I need to do? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to get some smaller boards, and I'm just going to put them right on, you know, run long ways with the barrel to the other side. From here to back there on both sides, just to lock the barrel in so it doesn't roll. Because as you can see, you know, I left enough room for, for some wiggle. Uh, but we'll lock that up tight. We'll get some boards on there, but... I'll do a, uh, a complete video after it's done, but this is only after about three hours worth of work, so I'm actually kind of impressed that it worked or turned out, so alright guys, have a good one. Damn it, I've been ending all of my videos way too damn soon. Um, anyway, for the part that connects to the downspout with the hose that goes into the top of the barrel, if anybody can give me uh, some ideas, like I said, I want it to, after everything's filled up, the water will back up. Uh, plug that off and then go back down the downspout so I'm gonna do some research tonight but if you guys have any uh, tips and tricks on that I'd love to hear it and also I'm sure if I ask somebody at the hardware store uh, but if you guys have done this what kind of uh, you know spigot do I need I mean it's gonna go into a regular hose but do they make something for a barrel end I think it's a two inch uh, for a PVC pipe, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a two-inch adapter uh, that you screw in, and then you just run two-inch PVC. But um, any tips or tricks on that stuff, uh, let me know, guys, and then uh, hopefully here within a couple days I'll have it uh, completed and ready for hookup. All right, now I'm out of here. See ya.